Yo, what is good, everybody? My name is the Coach King. Today, I'm doing a five-year plan for Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, this is one of the fastest-growing parks, in my opinion, and I think it does have a huge potential for a great future. So definitely going to be interesting to see uh, what kind of coasters I think they're getting in the near future. Starting off, as always, we're going to look at the past five years. And in 2020, uh, all signs are pointing that they're adding their Triotech Dark Ride Knott's Berry Tales. Um, you know, they did announce that it, it will be opening in the 2020 season, but with everything that going on, that's going on, you know, the uncertainty, we don't know for 100% sure, but for now, I'm going to consider it as a 2020 ride. Uh, we do know that they pushed back their 100th anniversary celebration, uh, and I'm going to be talking about that in a, in a couple of seconds, but um, for 2020, I think that it is, it, it's more likely than not going to be their tri tech Dark Ride. Right? I think it opens during the summer. Uh, before that, in 2019, they added Calico River Rapids, which is pretty self-explanatory. River Rapids rides. Uh, I've heard pretty good reviews about it. Um, no one really complains about it. I think that was a good addition. Before that was 2018 with Hang Time. Um, when this ride, you know, first got made, it had so much hype around it, and it, I honestly like saw the POVs, and I was like, "That's awesome! That's a sick ride." But, you know, all the hype's kind of died down. And since then, it's not really seen as, as good of a ride. But um, still a great addition for the park and, and really fills uh, some of their lineups. They had gaps in their lineup, excuse me. Before that, 2017, they had the Soak City expansion and a thrill ride. Uh, the thrill ride is called Soul Spin. Uh, decent ride, decent addition. You know, just kind of balancing bigger additions like hang time with smaller additions. That's kind of what they do. And in 2016, everybody knows they did the Ghost Rider restoration um, where they completely retracked Ghost Rider with GCI track and, and made it a one of the top one coasters in the world. Uh, that was an awesome addition. Um, a few years before that, I think two or three years, they got a smaller ride in the boardwalk area. So on average, if we're looking at it, we're looking at a two to three year gap between coasters. So about 2021 for the next one. But once again, with all the coronavirus situation, we don't know what's going on, really. For 2021, uh, there is rumors of a huge expansion in the park. I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to push everything back. So, once again, everything's pointed to right now. The Trotec Dark Ride opening in 2020. So, I think that's going to stay in 2020. But what we do know is that the 100th anniversary celebration is moving to 2021. So, I think they're going to market that as their 2021 edition and just do some park improvements. Um, you know, obviously they're losing a lot of revenue. Uh, you don't want to end up like a sea world, right? Well, I'm sure everybody knows kind of what's going on with that, whether it is really a financial situation or they're just kind of, um, redistributing their money where they need to be. Uh, you know, these guys are going to try to save some money. And I think this is one way they do it in 2021, making some small additions and pushing back their major additions for the later years. 2022, I think they're going to be adding a thrill ride of some sort. Um, they do not have too strong of a thrill ride collection compared to some other parks. I have this thrill ride here. To be honest with you guys, I have no idea what this model is called. Uh, it's at Canada's Wonderland. Um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I'm sure they can just throw some some whack thrill ride like this, and, and that would be a cool addition for the park. No one like doesn't want a, a thrill ride. That's pretty cool. Um, this thing looks pretty interesting. I, I have not been to Canada's Wonderland, so I couldn't um, vouch for it. But it looks pretty cool. Um, for something like that, they can add to the park and, and make a good addition for 2022. That doesn't cost too much money and really save up for the 2023 edition, which is a hyper coaster. A great blurry picture here of Apollo's chariot with Tempesto in the background. Uh, I think it's time to get a hyper coaster. And I think this is going to be the first park in California with a decent hyper coaster. No, Goliath is not considered a decent hyper coaster, in my opinion. Goliath sucks. So I think they get a BM hyper coaster. Um, BM has been really putting out some great hyper coasters lately. Mako looks awesome. I have not gone to Mako yet. Um, Candemonium or Candemonium, however you pronounce it, uh, looks to be amazing with a no mid-course break run. I am going to be getting it on that in July for the first time. So definitely interesting. And I think that, you know, if BNM's constantly still making these rides, um, they're they're going to be willing to make a hypercoaster in the future. And I think Knott's definitely needs it. Knott's definitely needs that giant coaster. Accelerator's pretty good, but 
other than that, they need the hyper coaster. I think that would really fit in their lineup very well and really round out their park and make it an elite park in the chain. 2024 following that huge addition. It's been a while since they got a kids area expansion, so I think they just get some new kids rides, you know, kids area, uh, retheme some of their old rides and, and maybe some renovate some old ones. Uh, cheaper addition, but much needed as they haven't really gotten too much for the kids in the last couple of years. And that could definitely be useful for the park to, you know, round out that round everything out and make it all uh, good for everybody. Lastly, in 2025, I think they restore their ghost town section. Um, it, it's been pretty run down for a while now. Definitely needs some, some store re restoration. Um, you know, maybe some new stores, uh, maybe refurbish some rides, repaint some stuff, kind of stuff like that, as well as a Soak City expansion. Um, you know, I had not been in the water park, so I, I couldn't tell you what rides they have. Uh, maybe like a mat slides. Once again, I don't know if they have one or not. They're adding a bunch of different slide complexes into all their Cedar Fair chains. They can pretty much just copy and paste one of those. Or by 2025, there's probably going to be some new water slide model that everybody's adding. Um, they can do something like that, you know, at a water coaster. Uh, I'm really not going to be too sure, too specific on what I think they're going to be adding, but I do think they're going to be adding something to Silk City and, you know, expanding it as they haven't done it at this point in seven years. That's me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section, like usual, what you guys think about the video, what you guys think about my additions, and any new uh, park. <laughs>